Uh, let's see, we going. I think we're going. We're going. Hey, let's start finishing. Let's finish by starting. This is, um, this is where we're at. We are cheating at illustrations uh, and doing that by creating 3D models. Uh, I've got this one here in ZBrush or ZBrush if you're European. Uh, right, so pretty, pretty loose, uh, roughed in and um, trying to think if I need to do anything else. I kind of fitted the uh, the body of the creature to the to the platform righty back McDeely. I'm probably going to want to adjust the scale of some of these accoutrements that are on here. The seat and backpack and pots and they're just kind of I just threw stuff in there to get the idea across for now. Um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna leave it like so and export this as a sub tool or as a OBJ. Uh, I need to merge this down. And, uh, what am I, sorry, I'm trying to manage a couple different programs right now. Uh, okay. Uh, export you. You are going to be Newlig with platform. I have become more and more uh, literally descriptive with my file names as I've gotten older. I find that ends up saving a lot of time. Okay, here's our previous scene. Oh, and look, uh, after the trials and tribulations of not being able to move the camera around like I wanted to, uh, the forum, the Daz forum got back to me and told me how to do it. It's, uh, so there's all these options and I was digging through all of here trying to find something about moving the camera. It turns out it's here. Why is it here instead of here with every other thing? I, I don't know, but there it is. Uh, right, so I need to update this guy. I can just go ahead and delete that. And then let's see. Importing you with platform thousand percent seemed to do the trick before. Okay, that's a monstrous mulig right there. Uh, um, I still don't have the uh, zooming in and out. I need to figure out how to do that right now. It's a very repetitive, slow, laborious process. I'm not sure why. Uh, anyway, let's see. We're going to rotate this guy. Oh, yeah, that's the other super annoying thing is you have to be pixel perfect uh, with these uh, commands for some reason. Like, I can't just click on him and move him. Instead, I have to get just the... Just, yeah, see, I need to make that tiny little triangle highlight. And that is ridiculous. I'm sure there's some other option to make that less ridiculous. And by sure, I mean I hope. Okay, uh, scale. So a thousand percent was a little much. ground plane visible put its feet roughly on there hide it because I can't get it to not flicker yellow whenever um, 
whenever my cursor goes over it. Okay, what do we got? Um, I'll be there in a couple minutes. Wait for it. There we go. Okay. So, at this scale, this is about the scale that I want for uh, to have this nice little tent and platform on the Mulig's back. Uh, looks like the seat is certainly not a good scale because if Bomark sat up there, it would look like he's in a tiny seat. Although I guess if I pushed it back, uh, I don't know. What I need to do is just get another character up there. So, because this is a time for experimenting, I want to see, can I just drag another dude in the scene? I can. All right. One more naked dude in the scene. Content library. Now we gotta figure out how to get to clothing. Props, no materials, and shapes. Wardrobe, of course. It's called W wardrobe. Uh, let's pick any old thing. Uh, you've chosen to fit an unsupported item to the figure. Would you like to try to convert the item to fit the figure? Ah, uh, sure. See what happens. See if the world blows up. Uh, gonna do this for every little bit, bit and piece, I'm assuming. Oh, that's some very uncomfortable looking underwear. All right. Oh, this is like a sexy female outfit that he's trying to put on. I see. Um, okay, how do I get rid of that? Is it not under here somewhere? I hate learning new programs so much. Iron dress. Alright. I'll leave the hair on there. Um, okay, how do I. I thought that it automatically only selected things that um, fit on the character you had, but that is clearly not the case. Uh, let's try this. Alright. Better. Um, and then poses. Make sure I have my dude selected. Uh, by function. It's by, by function. Action, climbing, combat, crawling, crouching, dancing, exercise, express, falling, fits, flying, gestures, grass. Sitting, pray. Um, that one looks good. His uh, clothes didn't seem to agree with that pose, but that's okay. Alright, 
So the question is, do I try to scale the Mulig up to fit him, or do I adjust? I, I don't think I want the Mulig any bigger. He's already pretty darn big. He's like the size of, almost the size of a squashed elephant. So let's not make him any bigger. Um, I'll just adjust the, the seat. Just hide this guy. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so given that the seat's going to be bigger, I definitely don't want uh, Bowmark aiming directly there. So let's move our music a little bit. Where did my music go? Now is he aiming over? No. Okay, so if I want him aiming over, I either have to move the uh, his target up, which means I'm gonna have to move his arm up, which that's super painful. According to uh, two episodes ago, if you saw those, you would know. Unless I could, let's, okay, I'm going to try something. I'm going to try to pin. Uh, let's see, oh, I have to the right, I have to the bone tool selected, okay. So I'm going to pin all this upper body stuff in place. It go the other way. Right, well, we'll find out. But, oh, where'd he go? Oh, this is out of your guys' view, sorry. I'm uh, trying to awkwardly move this into a good spot. Here, I'll show you. So here's the short bow, and I'm trying to stick it in the stack under the hand. So that wherever the hand goes, the bow goes. Yes, it works. Woohoo! Shoot anywhere now. It's so easy. Right. This is promising. I mean, I've spent probably, I don't know, six or seven hours so far on figuring out the new software, on actually posing the stuff, on creating these rough models. And so the question always at the back of my mind is, uh, is this ever going to get to a point where I can do it fast enough that it's the, the quality that I get out of it will be uh, worth the extra time uh, to offset? Uh, if I was traditionally illustrating it, I wouldn't feel, I wouldn't get the perspective and anatomy and shading as good as if I'm basing it off a of render. But the amount of time it takes to do the render is the uh, trick part. So I'm hoping that I can get this system down to the point where I can just pound these out. Um, if it takes as long as it does for me to draw it, but the quality is higher, 
that's a win. If it takes a little longer, uh, then that's going to be a tough decision because I have so many illustrations to do. Uh, that's it's just going to be trick time. Alita, hello to you and Michelle and Anna as well. Let's get Mr. Dridian all up in our business. So he's a little more menacing. I'll put him in a more menacing pose shortly. Right now I'm just trying to get a very rough blocking for this scene. Probably going to want to turn the Mulig's head down and away because the Mulig's a pretty cowardly animal. It would be kind of like an ostrich. It's just going to want to uh, hide from the monster. Don't. I... So right now I'm just kind of randomly tumbling the camera around trying to find a good position for this illustration to uh, show the maximum amount of cool stuff but also have a, uh, a good compelling uh, storytelling composition. Like if it's right over Bullmark's shoulder. To me, that's a bad composition. Just, I mean, you just look at the silhouette of him, and it's just really weird and wonky. Bullmark looks coolest if you get this pose, because that's a nice action -y pose. Um, but then you can't see other cool stuff. So I'm thinking if I flip it around, then I still get that strong pose. And I get all this fun uh, platform and camping supplies and stuff. Um, Mulig's head is right in the way, but like I was saying, if I if I bend that head down, and make it a little more cowardly, then the uh, Dridian up here can be uh, nice and um, emphasized. And I can have Skola uh, cowering back in here because he is also afraid of the monster. Uh, yeah, so I think I think I could go ahead. I think I'm happy enough with this where I can start making those changes to the uh, to the creatures. So. Uh, Save as scene. Uh, put it in this common folder. I'm gonna call this. Uh, and I already forgot. Oh, there's how you spell Dridian. Dridian attack. Let's just go back to ZBrush here. Zebra brush. And uh, I'm gonna undo. Undo. Uh, it's not updating. New. I should have multiple sub tools when I end, but. Alas. Alright, I'll just reload it. There we go. Okay, so now I can get that to be ghosted and play around with 
This guy's pose a bit. Kind of munched up his neck a little bit from uh, the last time I was posing him. Actually, I wonder how ZBrush in general is not great with um, manipulating low poly objects like this, but I'm going to give this a try real quick. See what happens. Yep. All right. It's not bad. I'm not sure if I'll ever be able to get the uh, little vertices down here, but might as well try it. Ah! Don't do that. grabbing other verts that I do not want grabbed. That's fine. I can I will fix this up in Maya later, but I just want to get the general proportions close. Then I can export it um, out to Maya uh, as close as, as possible and then make the the modeling fixes in there. Modeling in CG is a little different than sculpting. Sculpting you usually do for organic stuff like creatures and armor and stuff. Some armor you it's better to do with modeling first and then you sculpt on it or vice versa but in this case just moving these low poly objects around it's uh, that's generally considered modeling and ZBrush is not great for that but Maya is. But then Maya is not great for sculpting, so. Alright, let's see. I don't want to move Mr. Mulig's neck. Uh, what I need to do is get a better select lasso. Let's try that one. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Uh, this one? Nope, that's not what I wanted. Control key. <laughs> I love how I'm just such an absolute noob at so many elements in ZBrush. It's hilarious. Like, why is it so hard to just use a lasso tool? I, I don't even know. Gizmo down where I wish I had a smoother transition, but don't. Actually, let me turn off that. Okay. So, oh, re engage the lock. Oh, okay. I have. Um, Symmetry on. Do not want that. Okay. Just 
kind of smooth this weird warpy stuff out. I can sculpt over that later. There are much better ways to pose things, but this is the super quick, super dirty way that I know. Except for the masking part. I, I, I just, I can't do it. Control and tapping that's supposed to smooth the mask, but it is not. In, oh, okay, I guess you have to be in move or translation mode as opposed to uh, sculpting mode. Slack Dragon, hello! Says, I haven't been able to watch the live stream in a while. Fun to see you create again. Excellent. Glad you're here. Linda, hello, hello. I'm trying to figure out if my low stream numbers over the last couple months are because um, I'm doing more of this kind of computer stuff and less of uh, actual physical sculpting or if um, it's just like the novelty of me streaming is gone and so uh, people are less uh, motivated to come check it out. I'll be getting back into the garage fairly soon I hope. Trying to be very focused on getting these illustration things into a good state. Because um, I really need to get these books out. My mom has worked on them for years and years and years, and it's unfair for me to keep dinking around on other stuff and uh, not have these out there starting to make a splash. Big thing eight, hello. That's right, Alita. I'm not the trend anymore. I'm like uh, Backstreet Boys or One Direction, or any of those bands that last for like one and a half albums. muscle here that got squashed away. Not catch you live, but I catch the next AM. All right, fair enough. Alisa, Alisa says yes. You do need to get the books out. Chop chop. So it's good that you are doing this stuff. that I don't want. Huh. I do not know how I selected that. Anyway, I just want this gear selected. Is that so much to ask?
hide too much of his facial features because he's kind of a cutie. So don't worry, soon you'll be so famous, you'll have more viewers than you'll know what to do with. That'll be the day. It, it will kind of be a sad day for me if I uh, ever get so popular that I can't actually read and respond to every comment. That'll make me sad. It'll be up to you guys then to entertain yourselves and each other. But I mean, one of the delightful things about streaming as a medium is like interacting with people that you enjoy watching do stuff. That's the point of streaming. So it's weird when they can't actually like interact with every individual there. I guess what I could always do is like a, a Patreon only streams where um, then you get you get rewarded for kicking in a few bucks. I'm reticent to do that because like one of the big points of my channel is to put out there free learnings from me um, I don't know I just I have enough imposter syndrome where I don't feel like charging for my stuff is fair to anyone and also I mean I've benefited so much from people freely sharing what they know that it just seems right Well, I sure did uh, go back and forth and back and forth and then ended up almost where I started. Story of my life. Sec Dragon says, For me, I haven't been able to watch the streams because my life's been pretty hectic. Getting remarried next week. I enjoy the creative process, whether it's digital or physical sculpt. Hey, congrats, Slack Dragon. I recommend getting remarried. I did it, and... Man, it's been great. I hope yours is as great as mine. Aletha doesn't need to get remarried because she has uh, a billion cats and probably another horse soon, I'm guessing. You can't keep her away from them horsies. enough it's hard to it's hard to say with that with so little detail on the face I wonder if I put his like paw up a little bit like he's you know uh, although I guess it would be the other one which would be kind of hard to read let's see what happens if I can get one can I get a leg up A leg up on the competition, as it were. Aletha, did you say that you were or were not going to look into a shared horse? So that seems like the best of both worlds to me. Unless you end up sharing it with a terrible person. I guess it's kind of like a roommate situation. Except worse, because like, if your roommate's terrible to the place you live, then, uh, you know, it's just a place and it's just money but if your horse mate is like bad to your horse then that's that would be like awful Letha says think the paw up could look cute yeah that's what I'm thinking What is that? 
Oh, okay. I have a little bit of unfinished business down there. Yeah, if uh, my darn memory would work, I would be able to remember how to just draw a, a mask um, in whatever shape I wanted, and it would be great. It would be so great. Pondering, scratching its chin. This says, oh, I'm leasing a horse and taking lessons on other horses, but it's just not the same. Slash melodramatic. Plus, I prefer to control what saddle I want and what, uh, tech? But what trail rides I can go on. Oh, you can't control that if you share a horse? Shayla's dog, Pepper, also says hi. Pepper, Pepper was the nice one, right? Right. Oh yeah, Bone was the awful one. Pepper's the nice one. In that case, tell Pepper hi for me. Tapping on it makes the mask uh, blur. Before it did not, and I do not know why. At least it says not always. The owner can say yes or no, and I have to use what saddle they have for their horse. And I want a Western saddle. English saddles are tiny and flimsy, and I feel insecure in them. Yeah, I didn't know there were. Um, different regional styles. It's interesting. I just thought it was like saddle or bareback. But it makes sense. I mean, all sorts of cultures have been riding horses for an awfully long time. Differences would naturally develop. It's one of those like good things to know for world building is to consider that sort of thing. I've got to re-figure out the keyboard shortcut for moving the gizmo without actually moving the thing. It might be as simple as Alt. Yes, okay, I can hold down Alt and do that. I don't have to keep going and clicking on that icon. That's starting to look like something. Dottie, hello? How you doing? Alita says, that could be interesting to see what kind of saddles would be used in your world. Yeah, I mean, this guy's got the most ultimate epic saddle of all time. You should see if you can get a saddle like this for your horse. Where it's just like a giant platform with a sleeping bag and pots and pans attached to it. Have a little little treasure chest back there. Alright. 
I think this is this is good. Seems pretty natural to me. I want to go in and uh, bump up the pump up the jams and uh, the little knobby bones. I would be on the. Hmm. Would there be bones there? Let's see, because this is the toe. So this would be the arch of the foot. No, this would be the arch of the foot. Hmm. No, I can't remember. Although this is an alien critter, it's not actually a horse. So I'm just going to do what I feel like for now. It looks right. And I can do more research later. I mean, I'm going to have to go through my entire bestiary and do like a science pass. And hopefully I'll have a, by that time I'll have a biologist who's like super into that sort of thing. And they can sit, just sit down with me and go through and be like, all right, what works and what doesn't work here? How can we adjust it to make it look right and be realistic? Oh, what is my uh, dynamic set to? 128. Usually when horses freak out, their eyes get wide, they don't shut. So I'm going to do something similar, I think. Turning his head a little bit away, so there's going to be some skin bunching up on this side. happy with what's going on with this line. I'm gonna try pulling the jowls down a little bit or something. Him. There's no, I have to do everything twice since he doesn't have symmetry on. I think ZBrush has a way to still do symmetry even when you post a thing like this, but I do not know what that is. I don't know if having this little pointy head on top is good or not either, but it's kind of original. Just stick with it for now. Michelle said, how many legs does this thing have? And you said six. And Michelle said, ew. Well, how else are you going to get a giant platform on the back of your critter? It would be awful for a four-legged creature. Look how cute it is. You can just say ooh to that. Oh, you make me cry. I'm a sad now. That's what they sound like officially. That's canon now. They speak English and they talk like a uh, sad little... Um, I don't even know what that is. What is that? A teddy bear? A sad teddy bear? Good um, quads up here. He's gonna have to be able to lift his legs pretty powerfully.
way he walks is going to require a lot of um, legs going back and forth like that, which means I'm going to need good strong muscles that probably tie into the kneecaps here and then get anchored at various pelvis or backbone areas. It looks like a lot of that's going to be happening under the surface, but I still need to make sure I've got those anchor points pretty clearly defined. And it says it's looking more horse-like in the head. Yeah, the sketch uh, definitely, uh, the, the first concept I did is very mule-like. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to make it a lot more alien than that or not, but I mean, if something strikes me as a good direction to take it, I'll do that, but I like it like this for now. Plus, if it looks like a horse, then it's more likely Aletha will enjoy the book because she likes horses. There'd be a muscle going up there, but I do think skin could be getting pulled tight there. Probably also need a little more um, I forget what those are called, but the muscles that attach to the individual ribs and then pull them into the sternum. I don't want him to look like he's starving. I just worked out in the gym two hours ago. Which I can't remember the name of. But they make they make your back flare out like a cobra. Everyone wants cobra back flare, right? Aletha says, are you making the 3D thing the illustration, or were you going to position them optimally and then draw it? I'm sure you said before, but I forgot. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I'm planning on uh, rendering these out basically as a template, and then I'll trace that onto paper, you know, the basic shapes, outlines, shadows, and then do the illustration from there. I want to see if that's a faster way to do things, or at least a less embarrassing way, because my anatomy and perspective skills are not on point when it comes to drawing. But you get those for free when you uh, make something in 3D and then render it. That's why I'm calling these episodes cheating. I don't actually think they're cheating, but 
if your goal is to like get better at um, being an illustrator, it could be considered that way. Although I mean like even really famous, admired uh, painters like Norman Rockwell and um, Boris uh, Vallejo, like they all use photographic models as a basis to work off of, so. Yeah, I'm wondering if Frazetta did too. I kind of doubt it because his stuff is so stylized, but I also wouldn't be surprised. Latissimus dorsi. Thank you, Slack Dragon. Yep, it's got great lats. Check these lats, they're so swole. something with this blimpy tail as well. think what the evolutionary uh, adaptation or advantage to having a uh, big tadpole tail would be for a uh, long lumbering, uh, um, what's the word for plant eater? Not omnivore, not carnivore, plantivore. Herbivore. Wow, that. that mm, I tell you, getting old. I imagine these guys are probably great swimmers. I'm gonna say that this is a, a swimmer tail. Big muscular paddle. Lita says, might the tail be tucked down a little since it's scared? Um, not a bad idea. I don't know why I wasn't checking all the other angles while I was doing this. Probably a good thing to do. Yeah, I think that 
that's that was a good idea. Give it just a little more curl. Oh, let's not do that. stuff selected. super happy with this intersection of the tail and the torso and okay. yeah that's I think that's pretty good uh, you know what's bothering me not you. This tent. Okay, so I can't. Mm, I need to take it back into Maya and make those um, edges soft because they look all faceted like that, I believe, because they're set to um, be hard edged instead of soft edged. Same with this blanket wrinkle thing. Like most of these, I just kept really low poly just because. It doesn't, they're just stand-ins. When I draw over it, obviously I'll smooth out all the, all the uh, corners and such. But. Okay, how are we doing? Does this feel good? Is it, is it good to have this bulge here and then come in or do I need to I feel like that might be wrong? Just because of the way it pinched up when I was posing him. Alita, do you like boy horses or girl horses better? And if so, why? definition as well. that you like uh, herb herbivore horses or carnivore horses better and if so why I want 
to... I really feel like I need to take the face a little further. I, like, for the sake of this illustration, I don't really need to because I'm going to be drawing over it and making it good. But I wonder, I wonder what that, where that impulse is coming from. If it's just because I'm getting caught up in sculpting and I really enjoy sculpting and so I just want to keep sculpting. I'm, you know what, I'm just going to cut it off here. And, uh, and then see how that does me. And then the next time I do one of these, I'll see if there's a, a you know, if I still have that feeling and I'll examine it more then. This says, I kind of prefer geldings because they're generally less testing, once they're trained in stuff anyway. Mares have a hierarchy in the herd where there's lead mare, so they tend to test more. Uh, is it bad that I don't know what sex a gelding is? Or is that a sex? I thought geldings were like the kids or something. I just heard the word sex and I just immediately came in. Yeah, my teenage son just entered the room because I said the word sex. Dude. I apologize. Nice. 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 Alitha says, I prefer a carnivore horse because they wouldn't be a flight animal, less likely a spook. <laughs> less less uh, afraid of plastic bags. Okay, so I'm gonna say good. I'm gonna save this as a new Z tool. Um, uh, then merge it. Okay. I'll export that bad boy. As Mulig with platform. Place it. Go back to Daz. I wonder, hmm. I wonder if you can import over an object. Let's see. Change. Change the parent now. Delete, select. Mm. Like in video editing, you could always select a piece of footage or an image or whatever and say replace with and then, you know, so if you've updated it, then it, you can pop, uh, repopulate it that way. But I don't know if there's a way to do that here or not. So I'll do it the slow way. Port U. Okay, so a thousand was too big last time. Let's try 500. They don't work in here until I set them up. Where's my ground? There's my ground. Okay. It seems to be floating off the ground a bit. So I was saying, this is a pretty cool sort of position to see it in. Is this a good a good angle for the head? Um, I think so. It's not bad. It's pretty close to where the. Um, Where the original, wait for it, uh, 
already high. There it is. Where the original Mulig uh, head is. So that's cool. I could probably pose this. Uh, I could make the ears flop in such a way that it's clear that he's like jerking his head away from the scary thing. Um, that seems like that's very easy to do uh, in post, as it were. Uh, and there's ways to save your camera too. Is this? Well, let's just say for funsies that like this is exactly where we wanted it to be. Is there a? Um, are you the thing? You're probably a renderer. Yeah, that's rendering it. Okay. Cancel. I'll figure. I'll figure this technical stuff out offline. Do you want to cancel this render? Yes. Yes, I do. Okay. Uh, okay, so I think that uh, I have time tonight to just uh, give my Dridian a scarier pose. So he's going to be flying. These guys kind of do fly hopping thing. I believe this is a gilding is a stallion who is neutered. Ah, okay. And then says Colt is a boy baby horse and a filly is a girl baby horse. And you think the me look, looks great. Thanks. Okay. Uh, posing. Mm. Oh, uh, I'm not ready to post him yet. There's a few more details that need to be... Well, I shouldn't say details. A few more fundamental forms that are lacking. Let's give them a little more resolution. of them up. He's got these middle finger scythe McDeelys that I want to make sure I'm representing.
shit. I feel like I still don't have enough. Do not. This number is just always seems completely arbitrary to me. Like, it never is consistent with, um, like, I never know what to expect when I select any particular number up there. I mean, lower is always lower, but look, here's, that's 288, here's 384. Let's see what that does. Okay. See, I'm getting a little better definition. Still like waterboarding? It's not waterboarding, it's terrible. I got it at the next two minutes, he said that after he didn't know what to feel like the burning is attacked by. Yeah, and it's just like this very slow. And she goes, that's hot. Because my heart is like, even though my heart is like, it's just like, it's just like, Not supposed to go to those appointments drunk. Mm -hmm. Or with what does POTS stand for? Uh postural orthostatic tachycardia. Postural orthostatic cardia. I, I don't know if I'm It just means your word. heart freaks out depending on the position that your body is in, basically. Mm -hmm. No. I mean, that's not what it means, but that's essentially what it like goes, your heart goes into an arrhythmia because when you stand up, normal people, your heart rate increases just a little bit mm -hmm. because that's to work harder to push the blood up to your butt, to your heart, into your brain. Yeah. And so you, to do that, your heart rate increases in your veins, in your legs, and most like stomach and stuff. And stripped so that when it, your heart beats, it doesn't just flood and pull all the blood down to your lower extremities. That the veins like constrict and push it back up and then they do that because the parasympathetic nervous system is. I, you need to work on your parasympathetic nervous system. Okay. If there's one thing that has always annoyed me about you, it's your parasympathetic system. But no, like it feels like when you get water up your nose, yeah. it's burning, but it's staying up there and it's lidocaine. <laughs> but lidoc and lidocaine doesn't burn, right? It like, oh. it makes you numb, doesn't it? Well, theoretically, if it works, but lidocaine doesn't work. Oh, well. right. It just burns. Mm. It's Andy. supposed to numb, right. but... For a normal person, it would numb them. For you, it just burns. Yeah, because my That's body cool. just metabolizes it. Because normally lidocaine, if they inject it, it first hurts, and mm -hmm. then it stops. Because while the medicine itself steams, then it counteracts it. Right. But it doesn't do that. Anyway. Alita says hi. Hi, Alita! What I should do is have um, some cool yeah. reference of insects because I'm doing a chitinous uh, insect-like shell on this guy. But I think I have run out of steam. I still have to do high intensity interval training tonight. 
So I think I'm going to go ahead and call it and we'll do some more work on this guy next time. Although I think if we're lucky, next time will be Saturday afternoon because my mom's going to be here again. So we'll do some more um, talking Talifar and um, maybe working on this guy, maybe working on something else. I don't know. Uh, yeah, so join me Saturday. I'm, in fact, I'm just going to say it now. We're going to do Saturday afternoon Pacific time, usually around 12 or 1. And um, yeah, yeah, there you go. So do that and have fun with that exercising. I will not. I will feel like I'm going to die and be absolutely miserable. Um, but thanks. Thanks for the well wishes anyway. Okay, see you guys.